Well, ETFs are a very rapidly growing distribution channel for investment management, and we've been managing ETFs on a sub-advised basis for quite a long time, and that's been quite successful, but we're in a, a, an environment of consolidation in the investment management industry and have been for several years and will likely continue to be. And what that means is if you're relying exclusively on sub-advising, that can be taken away because some of these consolidating activities lead to uh, funds being brought in-house, regardless of how strong the returns were historically. Why these two ETFs? Well, the first is the CAPE ETF, which is a strategy that we have in a mutual fund format. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different, but it's you know, very much along the same lines. It has very successful returns, and it's a smart beta product uh, that's uh, managing around the S&P 500. And the idea is that we are using a value style that uh, digs into uh, Dr. Schiller's CAPE research of the cyclically adjusted CAPE ratio and it's a PE ratio and it's worked very, very well. So uh, I think when you have uh, stocks that are always part of people's portfolios and investors' portfolios, it's good to have a, a better deliverable. And I, I think on a risk adjusted basis, an absolute basis, our strategy has proven itself and I think it'll be well embraced in the ETF space. We started Double Line with 45 people and now it's pushing 300 and we've had very little turnover, particularly in the, on the investment team. And that almost guarantees that there's a consistency of philosophy, of process, and institutional memory. And it generally means when there's low turnover that the results are pretty good and the clients are happy. And if you don't have turnover, it pretty much means that all the pieces of the puzzle fit together in a seamless kind of way. And that's what I think of at Double Line. So the CAPE ratio is the acclaimed valuation metric that was created by Professor Robert Schiller back in 1988. Uh, CAPE stands for Cyclically Adjusted Price to Earnings Ratio, and it's cyclically adjusted in that it has a longer look back window than your standard PE, which typically looks at the last 12 months. So with the CAPE ratio, instead, uh, you're looking at the last 10 years of inflation adjusted earnings as your denominator. And while we think that the CAPE ratio is a better predictor, one of the better predictors of long-term equity market returns, uh, it's not designed to be a timing signal for investments. So in order for it to be um, useful as an investment tool, uh, Professor Robert Schiller co-created this notion of the relative CAPE ratio, which is a modification on the traditional CAPE ratio. Yeah, well, the CAPE ratio uh, is a uh, predictor of markets. <laughs> when it's too high, or uh, markets tend to go down, and when it's too low, it tend, they tend to go up. It's uh, it's a modification of the price earnings ratio. It all basically the difference is that it's not one year earnings in the denominator; it's ten year earnings in the denominator. So you have to diversify. So I, I'm thinking that this uh, uh, the CAPE product that we developed is something that people would put into their portfolio. It's not a target date portfolio that is aimed at retirees or at any particular uh, class. It's just for people who want an exposure in the stock market, US stock market, you may well want to reduce your exposure to some wild, highly priced sector. Yeah, so we think that uh, Professor Schiller and his team have put together a better beta of large cap uh, to the large cap market, where you get uh, you, you choose the different sectors of the market, but really you're getting the cheapest sectors of the market, and you know you're, you're rotating through the different sectors based on the valuation metrics, and you're, you're getting to a place where uh, you're choosing the four sectors of the market. You're still getting that large cap exposure, uh, but you're getting the the alpha on top of it, and really. Uh, you're, when you're rotating through the sectors, you're not getting stuck with, uh, you're, you're not uh, rotating through the sectors every single month. You're doing the, the process every month and sometimes the sectors stay the same. And I think w when we look at it on average, it's three to four times a year, you get a rotation into or out of a sector. Uh, but certainly depending on your market environment, you could get more. But when, when we do look at it, when people ask us about it, you, you are invested in the four sectors of the market and how can you get that market exposure 
And really when we go back through the life of the, of the index from 2012 onward when it was uh, incepted, that you get a, a, a correlation of greater than 0.95 and a beta right around one. So you are getting exposure to the overall S&P 500 type market, or you're getting alpha on top of that. So you're getting the best of both worlds by investing in this index.